Okay, so in today's training, we're going to be talking about staying accountable to your goals. It's so important in any coaching program, whenever you're trying to work towards a goal, that you keep yourself accountable for that outcome. And one of the most important um, aspects of a coaching program is making sure that you commit and also that by being in the program, you're held to account, which helps you to get better results anyway. It's often why people get much better results, A, when they've joined a program, and B, they've also invested in that program because when you've done so, you will want to get the most out of that investment and you want to get the best possible outcomes that you can in order to get a great result and have a really good experience on the program as well. So this is a massively important part of the whole coaching process and your time on the program. So what is it to begin with? Well, being accountable is where you are required or expected to justify your actions or decisions. So take, for example, maybe in work, um, if you're held to account for your work, then you are asked to justify your actions. In other words, if you don't do something which you are required to do in your role, and you don't do that, you're going to have to justify why that hasn't happened. And you know, maybe your line manager would call you up and, and say, hey, why hasn't this been done? In a sporting setting, your teammates hold you accountable for you know not, not performing in a certain way or... Um, if you're not in a team and you're one to one, maybe your coach is holding you to account as well. In our relationship, my relationship with you as your coach, my job is to hold, hold you to account to get the best possible outcomes that you can. And that's a big aspect of what I do with you. And there's four different ways in which you can have accountability. One is personal. That means you hold yourself to account. That means you're the one driving your discipline, driving the outcome, making sure you're sticking to the plan. There's peer accountability, which is your friends and family um, holding you to account as well. And maybe you, um, you know, speak to another friend who you, um, who you trust and you say, hey, listen, I want you to hold me to account for this goal because, you know, I need that extra bit of a you know, kick up the backside to keep myself moving forwards. Social is a bit of a broader context that might be sharing on social media that you're training for something. In a rehab setting, it might be documenting your progress in your rehab journey, but like a separate Instagram account that you set up, for example, a previous client did that really, really well, where she posted on a regular basis where she was at, and that gave her some social accountability as well, but also social support, because then she was getting likes and comments, and that's kind of cheering her on as well, and obviously you get that within this community too. And then lastly, lastly expert accountability, which would be for example, me in this context, holding you to account and giving you that support structure in place. So there's different ways in which we can look at this. Now, why it's so important is it helps you to stay on track, adhere to protocols and make necessary adjustments. One of the biggest things you will find in life is that if you're not fully invested in something, you won't get the result. And the reason is that you basically haven't committed to getting that outcome. But whenever you, for example, invest in a coaching program, you are fully bought in. And interestingly, and I'll talk about this in a second, the larger the investment, often the larger the accountability, the larger you will hold yourself to account to that outcome because, well, you're fully invested. There's no going back. Like you have to, you have to do it. Whereas if it's free stuff, that often doesn't cut it. So these different ways we can look at this, different strategies for holding yourself to account. So one is starting with goals. Having a clear goal in mind is the best way to have accountability because you will have a very specific goal in mind and it's important you or keep working towards that. If you haven't got a goal, there's nothing to hold yourself to account um, with. And it's often why people um, perhaps have got this kind of fear of failure, don't give themselves really big stretch targets and quite scary, ambitious goals because then they've got to hold themselves to account to it and they kind of sh they shy away from that. People like you and I, though, we don't do that. We do set big, ambitious goals, and that's actually what pulls us forward in the direction of change and direction of progress. So that's massively important as well. Second point, I made this point a second ago, but the more you pay, the more you pay attention, which means the more you've invested into a coaching program, the more you will listen, you will do the work and you will get a really good result because you're more invested in that process. Think about this for a second. If you have, for example, done a free course or you've listened to free advice or you've downloaded a free piece of content or you listen to like a free video on YouTube, your behavior will not change. It might be valuable, but you won't implement that. There's just no way. But the minute you've paid and invested into something, your behavior flip and changes just like that because you've invested in the outcome. That's why it's so important to do so. And personally, I've invested a lot in my own coaching now because 
I want to develop and I want to achieve goals. And I know this to be true now, having wasted years of not doing so. The minute I paid for my first mentor, the difference was just profound. You know, within a month, I'd sort of pushed way past what I thought was possible. And that again, it's because you listen, you do, there's someone who's ahead of you, they've already done what you want to want to achieve. That's massively important as well. So as a general rule in life, when you're fully invested in something like in this coaching program, you will pay attention and you will get a really good result. The other one is to tell other people, it could be friends, family, partners, um, on social media. But people, if they're aware of your goal, will be more supportive. They'll also hold you to account. So let's say, for example, you set yourself a really big ambitious goal and you put it out on social media and say, I'm going to have achieved this goal in you know September this year, for example. Then other people will check in like, hey, how's that goal going? And that adds that little bit of pressure to keep moving forward towards that goal as well. Very helpful strategy. Social accountability, similarly, the broader the, the kind of context, um, for some people the better, but other people just prefer kind of like a close-knit group of people who know about a goal, whatever suits you really. Some people prefer having this sort of really big social context where people online know that you're working towards this goal and people are able to kind of listen to your journey and watch that and, and keep pushing you on. Some people prefer to have a couple of people who know about that goal and, and have the accountability that way. Totally your decision how you go about that. So either small group or a larger group up to you. A buddy system, this can work really well. So having someone in a similar position to you, for example, on this, on this coaching program, that's something which we're looking to develop. Someone who's in a very similar position, similar demographic, similar kind of person to you, who you can chat back and forth with, check in with, and keep yourself moving forwards. So you've got this other layer of accountability, which comes from kind of peer to peer, um, of like a buddy buddy system can be really helpful too. Another one is to reward yourself for the outcome. Another training I've done, which you can access is about, you know, giving yourself rewards for the outcomes that you achieve. Very important one, because it's not just about like, you know, the stick approach of just trying to keep yourself moving forward by um, not giving yourself rewards. You also need the carrot to chase towards as well. So sometimes you need the positive reinforcement of achieving the goal because that holds you to account just as much as people pushing you forwards. You can almost imagine it like you're running towards, um, you know, running towards the pot of gold at the end, which is the which is the reward, and then you've got people who are just pushing you forwards, um, keeping you moving towards that goal. So you've got the accountability moving forward, accountability dragging you forwards as well, and that's what keeps you moving forwards. And what does that look like in our program? Well, there's a few different ways. There's three key things. It's being quick to ask for help. So if you are stuck, it's reaching out as quick as you possibly can not waiting for it it's being quick to implement what you learn so you know doing the program watching the resources implementing the trainings and helping with um, implementing that with other people as well and being quick to share your wins because that's another layer of accountability it's that peer accountability where you put on the group that you've just you know achieved the next milestone you have got back to running you've achieved full knee extension you've got back to the pitch you've gone back on that skiing trip whatever it is however small however large that goal is um, once you've achieved it and you've had that win reward yourself and post about it and tell people because that will keep you moving forwards and will hold you to account overall so now if you haven't done so already i want you to do your first check-in either on a group support call like this or through your community check-in process by sharing it on the fortnightly check-in process so we to do that if you have done that already then again use another one of those strategies tell someone about the goal you know, um, reward yourself for a specific goal, whatever that looks like for you, but try and find a way that you can keep yourself held to a higher level of accountability for getting where it is that you want to go.